Hi, welcome back to my channel. I'm Liz, and today we're going to be talking about my library here. So um, I started using this uh, Notion app uh, last week. Um, I think it's pretty big, but for some reason I had not jumped on the bandwagon. And um, I discovered this um, just kind of randomly on YouTube through a couple of different YouTubers. Um, and the idea of the second brain is from Tiago Forte. Um, you've probably heard of him on YouTube. He basically has this idea that you could store all your information on Notion or a note-taking app in order to um, be able to pull it up whenever you want. And it acts as a second brain. Now, I'm uh, pretty new to this, but I thought, hey, that's pretty cool. And so I dove into Notion and it's like, it's it satisfies and scratches an itch that I never even knew that I, that existed, and I'm obsessed. I um, used this in my mid year review uh, with my boss, and um, to kind of show my goals for work and stuff. Um, and it was kind of a showpiece, which I loved. Um, but this is I'm going over the library section, so. Um, on the left, you can see I have, you know, AI training videos. That's specifically to my work. AI stands for Advanced Industries. JE Done Goals, that's my work. Um, goals, VBA code. I'm learning how to code in VBA right now. And then my library and then courses. So I originally had a video on my courses. And now um, I'm here to talk about the library section of Notion. So I added this. And right now it's in a gallery view. Now, how to get it to look kind of nice and neat like this is you go into, um, you you do the add page and then right click the library, add a little icon and add it as a gallery view. Now, how to get it to show the images is this little, um, you'll add new entries right here with the plus new, but you'll use this little three dots and you'll go to properties and you'll go to card preview as an image. So that will link an image to your um, individual like pages. Um, so if I open up one here, so here's a book, uh, Make Time, which was a phenomenal book, by the way, and I have an image linked. So how you do that is you add the property, you click files and media, and then you add the image. So I upload the image and that's what it's grabbing to show it as. Now you can show it as different things if you want to, like here you can show the date red and the status. Now the cool thing about this is I like the board view when I'm working on my goals or my book, my books. And so I just have books to read in progress and complete. Um, this isn't my completed list. I just, when I started developing this, I just picked the most, like the 10 most recent books that I've read recently. Um, this is just so satisfying to me, being able to pull up books and then being able to link books as well. So you can see this highlights and then you can link back to your deep work book. I don't have any notes because I haven't I haven't um, uploaded my notes on here yet. And then a link back to it. Um, but it is just so satisfying to have all your information in one place. So I will show you. Um, let me go back to my gallery view. Um, if you open up just a book, right, like this one, you'll see I have the author, the subtitle, the date it was read, the image, and status. Now I haven't found like. Some other people will tag like what topic it is. Um, so that is something I might add as a property and I'll probably um, add that one. I don't know, I'm trying to think of like other ones that I might find useful, um, but the cool thing about this is in Notion, if you like add a property, you just, you, you just have to do them f for all the books but it's like so versatile and then you can delete a property if you find it's not useful, whatever. So um, it's really, it's so customizable. It's like 
oh, I just enjoy it so much. It's like the, it brings out the nerd in me. Um, and so I have some other books in here. Um, I just finished this one on meetings, which I honestly would not recommend this book. It was like a good read, I guess, on meetings, but it was so dry. I mean, there's nothing worse than meetings and but somehow making a book about meetings just made it like significantly worse <laughs> um but anyway uh this is my library and um i kind of showed you guys how to sh how to how to make one but it's kind of cool because whenever somebody comes up to me and i'm sitting at my desk um i can just pull out my library and they can see all the books that i've been working on or reading and then if I go to board view, I can see what books I'm in progress, what books I have waiting on my shelf, etc, etc. <clears throat> and I don't know, I'm a book obsessed person. Um, obviously, I only read nonfiction, as you can tell on here. And they mostly have to do with like productivity or some like really weird one off books about work, <laughs> clearly. <laughs> I just started work. <laughs> well, I mean, I've been I've been working for a year, but it's like I went through this phase of like eat eat sleep work repeat the making of a manager. Now that I have somebody that I that um, reports to me, I like bought a manager book. I'm like it's gonna change my life. Um, it did not. I mean, they were good. <laughs> there were good things in it, but it was like I don't know why I think that reading one book just makes me an expert. But whatever, <laughs> I do what I want. <laughs> But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed um, a little viewing of what I have as my library, and I'm sure I'll update you guys as I add more books. Thank you for watching.